Hello guys, Grumpy Beard here. Here is a quick guide on how to complete the Amulet of Azura secret quest and obtain the Thieves Mask and Hero Weapons. This guide will walk you through the entire process step by step on a new character. I have included some optional steps at the beginning of the guide which will allow you to purchase a horse so that you can move around faster. Any steps that are not marked optional are mandatory to obtain the Amulet of Azura. Throughout the course of the guide, you will be completing a total of 13 quests and I have optimized the route for speed and efficiency. After completing the tutorial, glide down to Tammy and accept special delivery. Next you will need to obtain the required items to complete the prerequisite quests leading up to the Amulet of Azura. Prior to starting a new character, you can save time by collecting the items on your main character and then store them in the Hope Harbor community chest, which I have done here. The required items are as follows. 23 oak logs. 3 iron ingots. 3 cotton. 3 pirate punch. 1 coconut milk. 2 blobs of blue slime, 3 diamonds, 3 emeralds, 3 sapphires and 3 rubies. Optionally, you will need 1 dizzy juice and 300 gold if you plan to purchase a horse. Pirate punch can be purchased at the inn, here. Blobs of blue slime is obtained from killing slimes in the cave located here. All other required items can be found from bandits, chests and boxes in the bandit hideout at this location. To obtain the amulet, you will have to kill some elite boars so you have to be prepared for combat. The circlet of true shot paired with cobalt arrows will give you a substantial damage boost on a new character who is lacking in combat skills. Once you have your items, head over to Captain James on his ship and complete quest special delivery and dizzy juice delivery. Completing these quests will give you 20 reputation with Hope Harbor, unlocking the ability to purchase a horse at the stables. Next head under the docks to talk to Puck and accept the amulet. When speaking with Puck, make sure that you do not select the chat option claiming to be a guard. After speaking with Puck, head to the stables to buy a horse. At the tavern near the stables you will find Fitz. Pick up the smuggler key from his belt and head down to the docks. Here you will loot the pirate's cap from a chest on the rat tail ship. Next, locate old bristles and accept post for a pirate. From here, head west towards the beach where you will find Crab Cave. Enter the cave and pick up Jed's doll. When you have the doll, head north to Ramshackle Reef where you will find Colt at the reef. Speak with Colt and complete best friends. Next, Turn around and climb the ladder into the kitchen where you will find Dunstan. Speak with him and accept Quartermaster Coral. Exit the reef and talk to Quartermaster Gresham. Give Gresham 3 Pirate Punch to receive his book. After receiving the book, bring it to Dunstan to complete Quartermaster Coral. At the end next to the reef you will find Mondo. Accept C6 Sailor and then travel across the dock to find Wiley. Speak with Wiley to accept Wiley's song. Across from Wiley you will find Hesse. Talk to Hesley and accept Caged Animal. On the same dock, speak with Catherine to complete the stolen cap. Up the hill from Catherine is the shipwreck basalt. Hand over your oak logs to complete wood for basalt. Next, head south to the beach where you will find Jed. Complete Jed's doll and accept the next quest right side of the law. To advance right side of the law go back across the dock and speak with Patty. After speaking with Patty, venture to the jail to talk with Hickory to further advance right side of the law. Once you have spoken with Hickory, it is time to go hunt some elite boars. Exit Ramshackle Reef and head to the two boar camps. The Boar King's camp is closest to the reef. Here you will find four elite boars. After you have dispatched them, head to the second boar camp where you will find and kill the fifth elite boar. When the final blow is delivered, travel south back to Hope Harbor and locate Fiora. To advance the quest C6 Sailor, speak with Fiora. Then deliver the blobs of blue slime to Josie and then speak with Fiora once more. Once she has given you the Sea Sickness Potion, head all the way to the top of the waterfall to advance Wiley's song. After that is complete, head to the fire cave to advance Wiley's song once more.
From here, exit the fire cave and deliver the sea sickness potion to Mondo at the end to complete seasick sailor. Next, cross the dock again to speak with Jed, which will complete right side of the law. Climb you way up the tower to speak with pirate captain Blackbrows and complete post for a pirate. From there, continue your ascent to the top of the tower which will advance Wily's song for the final time. Jump off the tower to talk with Wily and complete Wily's song. Spin around and speak with Hesse to complete Caged Animal. By now you should have 100 reputation with Ramshackle Reef which allows you to accept and complete the Amulet of Azura quest from Drake. Upon completing the quest, you are rewarded with the Amulet of Azura. You now have two options. You can return the Amulet to Puck who will reward you with the Thieves Mask or you can use the Amulet to unlock the Hero's Chest, hidden behind Azura Waterfall. If you choose to use the Amulet to open the chest, you will be rewarded randomly with either the Staff, Sword, Axe, Bow, or Dagger of the Hero. That's it for today, thanks for watching and happy hunting.